Leon was a terrific leader. I could feel he was finally taking me seriously, especially with Dana being missing. I knew he was still in love. After all, didn't he cross the globe to rescue her? But we all thought he arrived too late, that Dana had died with her parents during the pogroms. So I believed his mourning would eventually come to an end. And that's when Dana fell from the sky, literally. Dana was sent by London, right? To oversee that operation led by your resistance network? The exfiltration of a civilian to Switzerland, if I recall correctly. Indeed. But Leon never told us that Dana was involved. Maybe he was afraid to believe it himself. ¿Cómo ha podido desaparecer? Ah, no. Ahí está. Se había escondido. should have seen them, Fräulein. It was as if they had never left each other. Do you know if... if Dana ever mentioned a child? Maybe they were planning to have one in Baltaya. Who knows? In Baltaya? Yes. That's all they ever talked about. How they were going to live over there after the war, along with Ludwig and his tribe. Pero se supone que no podía tener hijos. But it was to be just another broken dream. Right. I should call London now. My radio is downstairs. Habla con tus aliados antes de usar la radio y ajusta la radio. Leon's drawing book. Esto ya lo hemos visto. Es el mismo libro, sí. I recognize the mountains of Vargen in these drawings. Leon must have drawn them during his expeditions in the region. These drawings date from the summer we met when I worked here. These landscapes don't look like they're from the Wagen region. Leon must have done these drawings when he was in Baltaya with the Origin expedition. This is a drawing of the Gorons. Bueno, este libro ya lo hemos visto. Hey, 
Herr Gustav housed me here when I worked at the refuge. I have so many fond memories with Leon here. When I left for London with Junta, I never thought I'd see the place again, let alone be here again with Leon. Judging by these installations, Leon's network seems particularly well organized. Pity the same can't be said for all the resistance networks the Foreign Office deals with. May I? I mean, the Gorun seem close. It's nice that she's found a friend. Not that Herr Gustav lacked affection for her, but she spent too much time alone in that refuge. The Gorun described Leon as his brother. They must have shared lots of adventures together since Leon saved him from the clutches of Herr Berger. Two brothers and sisters in arms. You can sense that the three of them stand together as one. Your drawings are beautiful. For you, Dana Rose. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Ludwig. It's almost as if you were there with us that night. Leon told me. Did he speak about me? All the time. I should go now. Talk to you later, Mr. Ludwig. Mm -hmm. oh, it looks like Leon and me in this drawing. The Goron must have drawn it from Leon's accounts of us. Vale, primero hablar con todo. Antes de ajustar la radio. If this propaganda against the resistance fighters is anything to go by, the brown shadow must be pretty desperate. Harold Exner. A scientist with vital information for the war effort, according to the Foreign Office. His cover has recently been blown, which has led to this operation. Better not say anything during the briefing, but apparently... Exner has a reputation for being rather hot-headed. The refuge. The place where it all began between me and Leon. Looks like the Goron must be a nightmare for the Brown Shadow. He must be the super-resistant I heard so much about in London. Papa de los Alpes. We'll need to cross Devil's Pass with the package in order to reach Switzerland. They say it's not the most daunting pass, but still, you need to be escorted by a professional alpinist. Switzerland. The package will be safe over there. The refuge. It'll be the departure point for our expedition into Switzerland tomorrow. An arms stash. Since the departure of Herr Gustav, resistance fighters have been using this place as an outpost. The Allies are unable to send enough supplies to the Resistance fighters for them to completely let go of their good old-fashioned methods. An arms stash. Since the departure of Herr Gustav, Resistance fighters have been using this place as an outpost. Shouldn't think the Brown Shadow appreciate Leon and his group throwing their own grenades at them. Ya 
aquí creo que ya está todo. Vale, ¿dónde estarán los demás? Estarán fuera, supongo. Y esta está... Esa es la radio. Eso al final. What do you want? It's amazing how you've grown. How have you been since last time? Fine, I guess. I found out that the refuge was closed down by the brown shadow a few years ago. Turns out your network did the best of it. But what about Herr Gustav? Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Although, for me, he might just as well be. It's quite incredible when I think of you and Leon fighting alongside someone who comes from so far away. Yeah. After Leon saved him during the expedition in Baltayar, Mr. Ludwig's tribe took him in during the winter months. They became inseparable, like brothers. So much so that Mr. Ludwig insisted on coming back here with Leon. Now he's our most ferocious fighter, the terror of the brown shadow. See you later, Lenny. We'll talk later, Dana. Vale, no sé si he hablado con todo ya. No se marca. Falta alguien por hablar. Introspección otra vez. We'll have to cross that tomorrow. It's daunting. Not because of the crossing, though. Leon knows it like the back of his hand. No, because of what will happen between us afterwards. I know I'll have to face the fact that London won't let me stay with him once we've escorted the civilian into Switzerland. And Leon would never accept to leave his men and follow me to London as long as the war's still raging. Once again, everything seems to be against us. But at least I've seen him. At least I know he still loves me. And we'll have plenty of time to catch up when we'll leave for Baltea after the war. So, best not dwell. I'll have all day tomorrow to feel sorry for myself. No me lo ha pedido la introspección, pero... Vale, ¿con quién me falta de hablar? Con Leon nada más, pero me ha dicho, hablaremos después. ¿Has llamado a London yet? ¿No 
Weren't you supposed to call London? Leon talks about you all the time. Why did Herr Gustav leave the refuge? Did the brown shadow force him? Vale, y abajo habrá más gente. No. Ah, este. Este no me aparecía antes. Para hablar. Right, Herr Exner. You seem a little upset. If it's about your exfiltration tomorrow, I can assure you there's nothing to be worried about. Leon is the best for. I couldn't care less about tomorrow. So what is it then? It's my wife, Andrea. It's like I said to your your goons there. I can't leave without her. Your wife? I'm sorry, Herr Exnell, but we have no orders regarding... I don't care about your orders. I'm not leaving without Andrea. Do you hear me? I won't. You think I'm a bastard, don't you? A selfish bastard ready to risk people's lives to recover the woman he loves. That's what you all think, isn't it? Usted se lo buscó. Mm. Es un poquito fuerte, ¿no? No, I think you're afraid. That's all. Afraid for you and the woman you love. And fear doesn't usually bring out the best in people. I take full responsibility for my actions, and I expect no pity in return. But would a little understanding be too much to ask? I mean, what would you do in my shoes? Hmm? What would you do if they asked you to abandon that alpinist you seem to be so fond of for the common good? Eh? Because that's what you're asking me to do with Andrea. If I were in your shoes, I would put the common good first, even if I had to make a tough choice. Oh, of course you would. Well, everyone seems all right, more or less. I should get back to the radio now. Ahora sí. Ya puedo utilizar la radio. This part of the radio is used to receive messages. Ajusta la radio, pero como? I need my documents so I can find the right setting. They're in a side pocket of my bag. Vale. No tiene documentos, por... entonces ¿dónde está? I need my documents so I can find the right setting. There en un bolsillo del bolso, tendré que subir. Nota. Conseguimos volver a Wagen a pesar del endurecimiento del toque de queda de la sombra marrón. Lo más duro fue contarles a, a los padres de Franz la muerte de su hijo durante la última operación. El padre se quedó especialmente destrozado cuando le dije que era imposible recuperar el cuerpo. Intenté explicarle que Hartrack Hartak 
entierra a todos nuestros caídos en la nieve eterna, como si un cementerio helado se tratara. De esta forma se hace uno con la montaña y descansa en paz justo junto a sus hermanos de armas fallecidas, donde no hay riesgo de que la sombra marrón los encuentre y profane sus tumbas. De todos modos, aunque sabía que Franz conocía los riesgos, eso no hizo que fuera más fácil para sus padres aceptar su muerte. Intenté razonar con el padre y al final se resignó a pedirme los efectos personales de Franz. No veo motivos para negárselo, pero lo cierto es que nunca me había pedido algo así antes. ¿Tú qué opinas? ¿Crees que a Leo le importaría? Personal effects in a heap. Can't be a good sign. Vale, ¿el bolso estará arriba o estará en su cuarto o dónde? Aquí no parece que se pueda entrar. Puede que esté arriba. Stash. I doubt I'll find anything of use there to amplify the radio signal. Herr Gustav's old radio. I remember we spent many an evening listening to serials when I worked here that summer. This antenna looks like one of Herr Gustav's inventions. Once this antenna is connected, There must be a way to open it. There must be something else I can plug into it. There must be something else I can plug into it. Once this antenna is connected, there must be a way to open it. Se supone que hay algo más que puedo mirar. There must be something else I can plug. There must be something else no. I can plug into it. Siempre hice lo mismo. So Yunta never did come back to retrieve it. Not surprising, really, I suppose, given the fact that a world war broke out. What a mess. Herr Gustav must have turned Junta's dark room into a storeroom after she left. Nada, aquí nada. De todas formas, tenía que subir a por la antena, así que. Ahora sí. Lenny's old room. I should stay away. A ver, su bolso, ¿dónde está? Gustav housed me here when I worked at the refuge. I have so many fond memories with Leon here. When I left for London with Junta, I never thought I'd see the place again, let alone be here again with Leon. Well, no va a estar aquí.
supongo que estará abajo en algún sitio. Judging by these installations, Leon's network seems particularly well organized. Pity the same can't be said for all the resistance networks the foreign office deals with. Era por aquí. Ah, aquí va a estar. Me he ido muy lejos a buscarlo, eh. Vale, aquí está. De todas formas, la antena seguro que me hace falta. Para contactar con el oficial de enlace sigue el siguiente procedimiento. Para obtener la frecuencia de seguridad, descifre el código de contacto que encontrará codificado a continuación. Consulte el apéndice. Este es el apéndice, ¿no? Para enviar un mensaje usando la radio, emplee la siguiente tabla de correspondencia. El destinatario de la carta recibirá su código en la frecuencia establecida por el código de contacto. Vale, lo primero es 21. Buah, a ver. 21. Vale, 21, 2, 1, 1. Dice que mire el apéndice, pero en el apéndice no... nada Vale, esto será código morse. El 2 quizás sea una raya y el 1 serán tres puntos. Sería raya punto punto punto. A ver. Una B. El 12 punto raya. ¿Existe el punto raya? Existe raya punto, pero no punto raya. A lo mejor está al revés, a lo mejor me estoy equivocando y yeah. es... Y el 2 es un punto. sería una J. Si el 2 es un punto sería J. JN. ¿Existe JN aquí? 
No, no hay nada que empiece por J. Por B, por B si sí existe. Raya punto, a ver. B A K B A R B A T Punto, raya, punto. PAR y el último sería un 21, que sería raya, punto, ¿no? BARN. BARN es 6.9 MHz. O sea, 6.9. Ajuste la frecuencia de seguridad facilitada en el receptor de su dispositivo. 6.9 No, no existe 6.9 a no ser que eso sea 6.9. A mí me parece que apunta al 7. Vale. ¿Y después qué? Tras eso, el oficial de enlace le haría llegar al receptor de su dispositivo una nueva frecuencia de transmisión que tendrá que decodificar. ¡Qué pesado! Es que son muy pesados. A ver. This part of the radio is used to receive messages. This part of the radio is used to transmit messages. Vale, pero todavía no. Ahora, al principio, tendremos que recibir. Y aquí es donde va la antena, ¿no? That should boost the signal. Perfect.
must have made a mistake. Ah, no, no te suelte. Ya. Nothing. I should turn the radio on first. Quería que la tenía encendida. Vale, la antena está bien. Empty. Ahí estamos. Vale. Punto. No está dando los cuatro no, los cuatro códigos, pero uf, ya verás qué rollo. Y aquí empieza de nuevo, ¿no? Punto, raya, raya, punto. Existe... La una P. Vale, existe la P aquí. Empieza algo por P. Sí. Pic es la única que empieza por P. Si no me he equivocado... 8.4 Y luego supongo que esa la tendré que poner abajo Sí Vamos a probar 8.4 This part of the radio is used to transmit messages. Sí, creo que es correcto, a ver. London, come in. London, do you read me? Over. We've made contact. Package safe and sound. I repeat, we've made contact. Package... Out of the question! I'm not moving from here without her! London, please wait a moment. Over. What's going on? You! Tell London I'm not leaving without my wife. Herr X, now listen, I... No, you listen. Andrea is my closest collaborator. With regard to the Allied war effort, she is just as important as me. She is in Wagen as I speak, hiding at some friend's place under a false identity. You must bring her here and smuggle her into Switzerland with me. There's no way we're going back to Wagen. Brown shadow troops have overrun the entire town. We can't risk delaying our departure. A storm coming, danger. I'm not moving from here without her. London, did you hear that? Roger that. Over and out. They say we can't allow Frau Exner to be captured and risk her letting the cat out of the bag. What are you waiting for then? Send someone to fetch her. Hang on. You're not asking me to. Sorry, Lenny, we haven't got a choice. Ludwig can't go about in public in Wagen, and I have to prepare everything to get them through Devil's Pass tomorrow. You're the only one I trust enough to. Why can't she go? I understand you're angry, Lenny, but that's not in my orders. My mission consists of protecting Herr Exner at all cost. I can't just leave him here and go off to Wagen. Dana's right, Lenny. And besides, 
And besides, it's too dangerous. Leon! All right, then. I'll go. Lenny, wait! Leon's reaction and his unconditional love for Dana drove me mad with rage. So I decided to take my revenge by making a detour. It was a detour I would regret for the rest of my life. Ya sobrevive, así que no le pasa nada. What did you do? Ah, no me diga. ¿En serio? No one was supposed to have gotten hurt, I promise. I promise, Fraulein. I just didn't want Leon to leave me forever. To leave with her. Los celos. Los celos es lo que le ha hecho hacer todo esto. But it was a fool's bargain. As I should have known from the beginning.
todo. Bueno, él sobrevive, lo sabemos. muere Leon, bueno, y los otros dos también, los tres. Y todo por culpa de esta. Ludwig has been searching for Leon's remains since then. But it took the thaw due to global warming to uncover the bodies. And with them, my crime. Precisely when you decided to show up, Fraulein. Lenny. Dear Ludwig, can you ever <sighs> for... <sighs> Mr. Ludwig, please. Don't, Fraulein. I deserve this. Let's get this over with, Fraulein. Let me tell you about the last time I ever saw Dana, and then I'll be done. Okay, I'm listening. It was a year after Leon died, just after the liberation of Vargan. Vale, a ver si descubrimos qué le pasó a Dana al final, porque... Anda que no llevamos tiempo detrás de ella. Saluda a tus viejas amistades antes de ir a la enfermería. Bueno, viejas amistades entre comillas, ¿eh? The little Vagaran Scorch. Still clinging on like fleas on a rat, I see. <laughs> Oh, I was so 
disappointed I didn't bump into you when we sacked your parents' house. Hmm. Before we threw them in the Dombra River. <laughs> Arderá en el infierno, si se lo voy a decir. I just wanted you to know I'll be thinking of you when you swing from a rope. Run, rabbit! Run! Because we'll soon be back to finish off scum like you! Patriotas Bagueríes derrotan a la sombra marrón e izan la bandera de Ostertan en la ciudad. Goodness me, it's you, Dana. Herr Gustav? Wish it was still a music academy, eh? I'm not at HQ now, you know. Yes. I just visited Lenny. That's why I've come too. I wanted to see her before I leave. How is she? Surviving, I suppose. The Allies are taking care of her here in the infirmary. Thank goodness. Special treatment for her exploits in the Resistance. But uh, it's unlikely she'll ever walk again, though. I'm so sorry for what happened to her. I let Leon die alone, and I couldn't even help Lenny when she got hit during the assault on the refuge. I understand you, my lovely. I do. But don't blame yourself, eh? Regrets, we all have a few. And some more than others. Especially in times of war, Dana. It's the way of the world. We just have to move on best we can. Maybe if we could all just let the water flow under the bridge, the swans will come back and we'll all be able to live together again. Like we used to. Would be good, if it's at all possible. And Lenny? I promise to take good care of her for the rest of my life. I lost my little girl once. I'm not losing her again. I'll take up my job at the refuge and I'll adapt it to her handicap. See? That's nice. Is everything okay, Dana? Vamos a preguntarle dónde estaba durante la ocupación. Desapareció y no sabemos el por qué. Where were you during the occupation? Lenny never mentioned it. If you want to know, I uh, was cleared by the military court, Dana. It might well have something to do with the fact that I'm the father of a heroine. But all the same, I was Se unió a la sombra marrón, ya verá. Oh, I see. I see very well, Herr Gustav. You have a good day now. Since the liberation, everyone in Wagen seems to be looking for someone. Ah, no, hablar, no. You, you should go, Dana. Hezawa? Oh, Fräulein Dana. What are you doing here? Well, unlike my former colleagues of the Origin Expedition, I refused to be hired by the Allies. So, by the same chalk, I 
turn down immunity. Why would you do that? Well, all I've ever wanted to do in life is to carry out my anthropological research. But if there's one thing I learned in Baltaya, it's that it can't be done by serving the designs of this or that superpower. Not even momentarily. I've had enough of prostituting science. So, I've given myself up to be judged for accepting to be financed by the Brown Shadow. I see. I'm... sorry about Leon, Fraulein Dana. I know you were close. He, uh, used to talk about you all the time. I'm sorry. I was rather... rather harsh toward him last time we met. He was a good man. I miss him. His integrity. I miss him too. Hezawa? Yes, Fräulein Dana? Thank you for passing Leon's letter on to me about what happened in Baltea like you promised you would, despite your own grief. It's proof that you're a man of honor. I wish you well now. Otro que se unió a la sombra. Solo para que le dieran dinero para sus investigaciones. That's it. I'm definitely done with everybody here. I should go and talk to Lenny in the infirmary now. Vamos a ir a la enfermería a hablar con Lenny. Sí, yo creo que ya está. Hello, Lenny. I have to leave, Lenny. Every new day in Wagen is like another agony for me since Leon died. I can't face being here anymore. Not now that the town is freed. So, I've decided to leave for America. I'm going to try to start life over. I don't know if I'll do any better in the United States, but I'll have more of a chance of getting by there than here. I'm not abandoning you, Lenny. Ludwig's staying to help you find Leon's body in the mountain. And I'll write to you, often. I won't forget you. I'm so sorry. So Dana, she... She never knew what you did? Indeed. So, did she write to you like she promised? From the United States? Yes, she did. For the next 40 years. She's still alive, then? Can't say for sure, but there's a good chance. Can you explain? No. I've had enough of explaining. Explaining to myself. All I want now is to find some peace far away from guilt and loneliness. I'm going to rest now. 
Al final va a estar en América, en Estados Unidos. It's not too late to forgive yourself. Wouldn't know how, even if I wanted to. You won't know until you try. <laughs> Thank you, Fraulein. You'll find the last letter I received from Dana in my automaton. It will give you the answers you're looking for. Thank you. Coge la carta de Dana del automata. Vale. Inspeccionar el automata aquí que tenemos. Girar esto. Vale, aquí podemos usar la llave. La llave que ya tenemos, pero tiene que tener las partes que no son redondas. A ver. Oh, it won't fit. Tiene que estar activado este y este y las partes redondas escondidas. Vale, abrimos esto. Este será igual. Y ahora sí. Otra vez la llave. Pero esta vez. No, it's not the proper setting of the key. Pero sí. Es pues este. Ese. Tenemos el corazón. Sustituimos este corazón por el de Oscar, seguro. Lo paramos primero. Better try something else. Ah, vale. Damos esto. ¿Qué más? Impossible. Vale, lo está bloqueando esto. Ah, lo tengo que parar justo en el momento. Things stuck. Ahora. Ahora sí. You should be able to control this body now, Oscar. Let's work together to unlock it and find that letter from Dana. Vale, vamos a ver. This lock. I think I need to slide the small moving part nearby in order to unlock it. Maybe I could ask for Oscar's help if I get stuck. Things stuck. Vale, esto está atascado. Hay que subir la bola por el camino. Ah, pero esto también se atasca. No podría pasar por aquí. Vale, ¿qué más tenemos? Bueno, podemos cambiar entre Oscar... Ah, new body. Y Kate. It won't budge. There must be a way of unblocking it somewhere else on the mechanism. Impossible. Esto sube. Sube y baja los, los pesos. Vale. ¿Y esto? Ah, ahí. A ver. Ahí está. Esto desbloquea la rueda. Pero he visto algo ahí. La llave otra vez. Y esta vez tiene que tener solo un lado. A ver, vamos a ver si lo activo. Ah, oh, it won't fit. I must ah, display sí. the key properly. ¿Qué hace esto? Vale, 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 ya lo veo. Ah, 
Ahora puedo mover. A ver, no. Así no. Porque siguen estando aquí los pesos delante. No puedo pasar por ahí. Y ahí tampoco. Así que tiene que estar arriba. Arriba del todo. Vale, ahora sí pasa. Este le pasa lo mismo. Tiene que estar abajo. Porque tengo que subir. Tengo que llevarlo al otro lado. Vale, pero tengo el peso de la derecha, lo tengo arriba. Y esto lo tengo girado. Así que esto tiene que ir aquí. No, era el otro. Y hay que también hay que volver a poner la llave porque esto tiene que estar aquí Otra vez la llave, pero esta vez tiene que estar todo cerrado. No, it's not the proper setting of the key. Sí, todo así. The letter. Ahí están las cartas. Spring, 1983. Dana sent this letter 20 years ago to Lenny. Dana Goengrish, Manhattan. Her name changed. May 21st, 1983. My dear Lenny, sorry if I haven't written in a long time. Things haven't been easy for me of late. Primavera del 83, Estados Unidos. Está en Manhattan al final. Sí, bueno, sabíamos que se había ido a Estados Unidos. My husband, William Gerngrich, passed away last summer. He was such a remarkable partner and a tremendous support. But, as you know, Lenny, there used to be another world for me. The world before. Our world, Lenny. The world of Leon. I've honored my current contracts. But now I feel I need a change. A 
al final tuvo éxito como concertista de piano. La foto de su llegada a Nueva York. Ha sido una estrella y su nombre es Dana Groenich. Groenkrich ha estado recientemente en el café concierto. Si la respuesta es afirmativa, te habrás enamorado. De la música virtuosa de una estrella emergente se llama Dana. Lo único que sabemos de ella es que vino a Estados Unidos desde su ciudad natal en el centro de Europa después de la guerra. Si te pasas por el café concierto esta noche, te llevarás una gran sorpresa. Esta musicóloga estará encantada de ser la primera en descubrirte a un auténtica genio antes de que se la lleven a tocar por los mejores escenarios del mundo. Sí, sí que tuvo éxito. Incluso grabó cintas, ¿eh? también seguro esta no es ella Crescendo Entertainment. Querida Dana, mis pensamientos están contigo en estos momentos tan difíciles. Sabes que siempre estaré aquí para las buenas y las malas. Entiendo tu repentino deseo de dejarlo todo desde el fallecimiento de William. De verdad que sí. Pero me gustaría pedirte que te tomaras un tiempo para pensarlo bien antes de tirar la toalla. Es cierto que te encuentras en el mejor momento de tu fabulosa carrera, pero sinceramente creo que aún queda un capítulo nuevo maravilloso por escribir en el libro de tu vida. Tienes tanto tirano ahora mismo que sería una lástima decepcionar a todos esos fans que te adoran, porque son muchos. Espero que aceptes esta nueva oferta que, por supuesto, hemos aumentado con gusto. Es de recibo que el artista que convirtió mi discográfica en lo que, en lo que es reciba mi agradecimiento más sincero desde el corazón, pero también desde el bolsillo. Te he dejado el original de tu última grabación para que lo escuches antes de enviarlo a la prensa. Esta es Dana en su mejor versión y cuando la hayas escuchado espero que te des cuenta de que no puedes privar a tu público de semejante talento. Un abrazo Raymond Pratt, representante artístico. Esa es la cinta que hemos visto antes. Observa tu segunda vida. Dana, Dana. 
It was a nurse who worked at the maternity ward at Baden Sanatorium before the war, when I spent some time there. She had stumbled upon a letter written by her superior. It was a strange confession written by the chief doctor who was present when I went into labor. She claimed that the child I gave birth to on April 5, 1930 was that they had seized the opportunity of me falling into a coma to give my daughter Anna to a couple of friends of my parents, the Zimmers. Anna is alive, Lenny. Y Kate es familia de ella. You can imagine, my dear Lenny, that I spent the following weeks searching for my daughter high and low. It wasn't that difficult, even though my daughter's names had been changed. Es la casa de Kate que hemos visto antes. Uno de los padres de Kate. She looked so confident, joyful, and full of life. She was surrounded by charming friends and a couple of old folks who must have been the Zimmers, her adoptive parents. Falsa. As I was watching my daughter, it appeared clear to me. 
I was an intruder in the life of Sarah Walker Zimmer. Mom? Sí, es su abuela entonces. This young woman didn't look like me and inspired nothing in me either. No emotion, no desire to run to her and take her in my arms. Absolutely nothing. It felt meaningless. I just did what I thought best in such cases. I took a trip into her assumed past just to make sure there were no regrets. Renuncia al pasado, pero antes contempla lo que podría haber sido. Lo raro es que no la vean, está ahí de pie como un fantasma. que está tirada la otra foto. La foto está tirada. Ghost, Dana. That's all you are. Stop haunting these people and leave. Aquí no estaba el libro. Renuncia al pasado, así que supongo que lo único que puedo hacer es irme directamente. Bueno, aquí espiar. Ah, nada más. Creía que iba a subir y a lo mejor estaba Kate de arriba jugando o algo. No, no sube. Pues salir. Dijo que quería salir. I was just about to leave when I heard piano music coming from upstairs. It stopped me in my tracks. Six little notes, pure, crystalline, that crushed my heart with an incredible violence. I climbed the stairs like an automaton, guided by the music of the hymn of Wagen. The music 
back, I was so proud to play on the main square of Vargen. I never played it again after that. lost their way to the bathroom. ¿Pero qué le pasó? Eso fue hace 20 años. I hurried out of the house without looking back. And a few days later, I left the United States for the only destination that had any meaning to me. Farewell, my dear Lenny. Dana. Well, I will never understand human emotions. I thought you would be happy to have the proof at last that Dana Rose is your ancestor. I'd totally forgotten that strange old lady who helped me play my piece on Mom's birthday. She was my grandma. Hmm. So, what are we going to do now? I don't know, Oscar. I really don't know. I know I should feel happy to come to the end of this adventure. I found freedom. I kept my promise to Katyusha. And discovered a fascinating part of my mother's past, kept secret until now. But it makes no difference to the guilt I feel over my mom's passing. Or the void I feel since her death. Maybe if I had met Dana in person. But that's impossible now. 
The last trace of Dana I have is this letter. And it's... it's over 20 years old. And besides... Dana implies she left for an unknown destination. Like... a hiding place. To wait for the end of a life... that no longer held any meaning for her. She could be anywhere. That's if she's still alive at all. It would be like looking for a needle in a haystack. So, I don't know, Oscar. I really don't know anymore. No sé dónde se habrá ido. Left to do, Oscar. What everyone has been expecting me to do since I jumped on the train with Hans. Just be reasonable and return to New York. There's an end to everything, Oscar. Isn't there? No sé, solo hay dos sitios donde podría haber ido. Aquí. Que es donde ella nació. O no sé, no se habrá ido a, a las montañas a vivir con los monos, eso. Pachete de Wagen presenta un billete de tren válido y llama a Olive. My carriage number. This ticket will take me to the International Airport of Wagen and from there, back to New York. I should find a phone to call Olivia before I take the shuttle. <laughs> Given all the trouble waiting for me in New York, I'm gonna need all the help I can get. That's my shuttle. Once it's taken me to the airport, I'll just use the ticket for New York that Olivia sent me, and that'll be the end of my voyage. This is the right carriage, but the door's still shut. Please present your ticket. No, todavía no. Hay que llamar por teléfono antes. I guess I have to use it to set the day. I should set the month here. The default setting on the dials shows the wrong date. Vale, ¿a qué se refiere con el día? ¿Esto qué es? This ticket will take me to the International Airport of Wagen and from there, back to New York. A ver, tengo que poner esta fecha 30 del 11 de 2005, no sé. para marcar el billete, ¿no? I'll need some ink before I can stamp it. Genial. <ríe> Me hace falta tinta. A 
Ticket validator. Ah, vale, vale. Primero hay que hacer así. My carriage number. Vale, un teléfono es lo que hace falta. The deportation trains left Wagen from this station during the Second World War. How many lives did those brown shadow barbarians destroy? Is there any justice for those who were massacred? no estará dentro del dentro del tren, ¿no? Bajar, ah, puedo bajar, espera. My shuttle to the airport is at the platform. Pues no. Point wandering around the station and getting lost. No me deja bajar. Esto es el teléfono. Sí, eso es una cabina. I need to put in a coin to call Olivia. Olivia? It's me. What do you want, Kate? Didn't we say everything last time? You were right, Olivia. I've been chasing moonbeams ever since my mom died. But I found my grandmother. Your grandmother? But, Kate, she died years ago in New York. No, I mean my real grandmother. <laughs> Never mind. It's a long story. I'll explain everything when I get back. Oh, you mean... Yes, I'm flying back to New York. That's wonderful, Kate. I better tell Mr. Canton. He's still on your case, you know. The police will probably be waiting for you at the airport, but don't worry. Dan has connections. I'm sure he'll be able to help. Maybe he can persuade Marston and Larmont to drop the charges. Okay, thanks. That would be a relief. I, I gotta go. Uh, the airport shuttle's about to leave. Yes, yes, go ahead. We'll meet you at JFK. I'm proud of you, Kate. You've made the right decision. Olivia? Yes? Listen, I... I'm, I'm truly sorry for everything that's happened since I left New York. It's just that... I just had to get away. I needed a change of life. To be free. It was... Like a calling. And now that I've been following that calling for the past few years, I realize that I'm not the person I thought I was back in New York. I am that strange person who jumps from train to train. A traveler without a destination. Just like that old shaman once called me. What are you talking about? Which shaman? It doesn't matter now. I guess what really counts is that I have no regrets about being my true self over these past years. But do you really? I know, Olivia. I know I've hurt people while going through this, this journey. My mom, Dan, you, I know that. And I'm so sorry, Olivia, for all the hurt I've caused you personally. Thank you, Kate. 
does me good to hear it. And, well, you know what? I'm starting to like this new Kate. Listen, I I'd better go now, Olivia. I'll, I'll call you if I can from the airport once I've got a flight. Yes, yes, you'd better get going. You take care, Kate. Okay, you too. Bye now. Talk later. Tiene que pasar algo antes de que salga... Antes de que, jo... de que coja el vuelo. Vale, presentar el billete válido. Aquí. Era el número 3. Sí que lo hice. ¿Cómo que no? Si lo he sellado hace un momento. A ticket validator. Lo hice hace un momento. A ticket validator. No, esto no lo hice. Esto no lo hice, ahora sí. My ticket's all set now. I just need to my carriage number. My ticket's all set now. I just need to get to my place. This ticket will take me to the International Airport of Wagen and from there back to New York. Vale, a ver, ahora. Esta no coge el vuelo. <laughs> ya verás que no. Olivia sent me a plane ticket for New York. What if... No, forget it. 
So, is this really the end of the journey? Yes, Oscar. I'm afraid it really is. My carriage number. This ticket will take me to the International Airport of Wagen, and from there, back. Altayar. Esto no era la... Donde se fueron de, de, de misión. Sí, me da a mí que sí. Y ahí es donde se fue Dana. A las montañas. That's all they ever talked about. How they were going to live over there after the war. Sí. Oh, ahí donde se ha ido. And his tribe. I left the United States for the only destination that had any meaning for me. Farewell, my dear Lenny. The only destination that had any meaning? Kate Walker is everything all. I know where she is, Oscar. I know where Dana went after she left America. The train for the airport is about to depart. All Come on, Oscar, we gotta go. Anyone not going to the airport is kindly asked to leave the train immediately. I took her in the mountain with Leon. They are together now. What about you, Kate Walker? I'm going back home too, in a way. Siberia 5 